I'm going to give you three very quick demos of interactive systems I've built using machine learning. All of these can be built using examples provided in your example bundle. First, I'm going to show you a webcam-controlled drum machine. This project is set up to recognize three different positions, me standing in front of the camera, me standing to the side of the camera, and my hand in front of the camera. For each position, my drum machine is going to play a different combination of drums. By the way, the drum code is written using Chuck, so if you know a little bit of Chuck, you might recognize the sounds. And there we go, all controlled using the webcam on my computer. Second, I'm going to show you a more expressive and flexible musical instrument. This one uses my hand movements sensed by this leap motion here. And it uses those hand movements to control a sound synthesis program written in Max MSP. Here, instead of just choosing one of three different sounds, I'm making very subtle changes to three different values, each of which is controlling a different aspect of sound processing. Specifically, this Max program allows me to change the speed, pitch, and volume of a music sample in real time. Now, I could control each of these parameters with a slider, which is often done in music. In my Max patch here, you see I've got a few sliders that I can use to control the sound. But it can be a lot more expressive and fun to connect these parameters to other actions. Here, I'm going to use my hand position to control all three values at the same time. Let's give it a try. My last quick demo is going to use my voice to control the computer. I've built a very simple speech recognition system that recognizes three keywords, left, right, and jump. This speech recognition system controls a very simple game-like animation in processing. I adapted this animation from a platformer example I found on openprocessing.org. You can normally interact with the animation using key presses, making your little red dot here go right, left, and jump. But I'm going to show you a demo where I control it using my voice. Left, right, jump, left, left, right, jump. Notice that in this demo, just like the drum machine, I've got three categories of control that I need to recognize. However, here I also need to recognize when I say each word so that I jump or move at the right time. And most of the time, my little red guy isn't doing anything at all. The three demos I just showed you use three basic approaches to supervised learning, and we'll be discussing each of these in this class. The camera-controlled drum machine uses classification to classify or label each of my postures. The drum machine looks at the current label and uses it to choose which sound to play. The hand-controlled sample processor uses regression to continuously control sound synthesis parameters. It's not choosing between categories, but rather smoothly changing a set of numbers. Finally, the speech-controlled game performs temporal analysis, analyzing how my voice is changing over time. It uses this analysis to recognize not only which word in the vocabulary I'm speaking, but also when I speak it. In this class, you'll find out how easy it can be to create these kinds of systems yourself. In fact, each of these demos took me only a few minutes to build, I didn't have to program anything at all, and I can very easily change any of them to sound completely different or to use different kinds of input control.